Um, in this example, I'm going to use the uh, idea. We are still featuring the um, gradient and areas feature of a speed time graph. But then right now, we will be using a bit of similar triangle. OK, so let's go through the whole question. So this is a speed time graph. Again, if you are worried that you forgot the feature, OK, write out the feature first. So the gradient feature is the acceleration. The area under graph feature is the distance. So now I have the distance traveled in the first 15 seconds. So if you look at the shape in the first 15 seconds, there is a triangle. So from here, I can actually find the maximum speed. That means the area of the triangle is 150. And if I do a half down base on height, I can find the maximum speed. So please remember to give units. Okay, so that is the area feature. The part, the second part, part B, we are like to find the deceleration. So deceleration again is gradient. It's how fast you are slowing down. Okay, so if I would like to find gradient, so apparently this one will be a negative gradient. Okay, so, but we already know that it's going to be slowing down. Okay, so you can, uh, you can do it in a vertical way. So the speed, the vertical distance will be the 20 meter per second. So from 20 meter per second, it, it, it gets slowed down to zero meter per second. And it happens over five seconds. So it's four meter per second square. That means every one second, we slow down four meter per second. We bring down the speed by four meter per second every one second. Okay, so that's the meaning of acceleration. So in a case, right, if let's say you are using the gradient part, so if I'm using the gradient part, this is coordinate. Okay, you can do it like a coordinate. So if you have done it in a coordinate manner, so gradient is equal to 20 minus 0, 25 minus 30. So you will get a negative gradient. So obviously you will get a negative gradient. It's downward sloping. Okay, so when there is a negative gradient, okay, then you will explain that the deceleration is four meter per second square. Deceleration already is slowing down. So the word deceleration represents the negative. So I don't have to do the, I don't have to insert a negative here again. Okay, so that's how you answer by either the gradient method, or you can do the vertical over horizontal. Okay, the main part for this question is part C. I would like to find the speed when it is 28. Okay, so let me, I think I will erase the previous part first. So I can do the similar triangle method. Okay, or I can do the speed method. Okay, so maybe I, uh, sorry, not speed method. I can do the gradient method. Okay, I can, I will show the gradient method. Then I will show the similar triangle method. So how am I going to use the gradient method? So this is 28. So I will make an unknown coordinates. And I already know that the gradient will be minus four. 
So I'm going to form either this gradient or I form either this gradient. It doesn't matter. Okay, so you can form the smaller gradient. Okay, that means k minus 0, 28 minus 30 will be a minus 4. So k is 8. That means at t equal to 28, the speed is 8 meter per second. So I can do it by the gradient method. Okay, another way is by the similar triangle method. So similar triangle will look like this. So the 28 will form one triangle. So that triangle, so there will be a small triangle here. So this is two units and then the height is K. Uh, there will be a big one here. So for the big one, the base is five units, the height is 20. So if you can see the similar triangles, then you take the ratio. Okay, so you can take the ratio. So you take the height ratio and you take the base ratio. Then you do your cross multiplication. So you still get eight meter per second. Okay, so you adopt the method or you can be flexible, that depends on you. Okay, so I think there are some people, for those of you who take physics, sometimes there's a physics formula involved. I'm not very sure about that, but generally it's the same idea. So you shouldn't get different answers.